Hello guys and welcome to another new of the mind feed. I am your host Vibha Kulkarni. So today in this video we are going to see how to install WordPress on subdomain. So in previous video we have just shown that how to create subdomain in Hostinger with HPanel. So now we are going to see how to install WordPress on it. So guys if you are new to our channel do the subscribe button turn on notification bell to get future updates. So on the left hand side you will see a menu so just simply click on the website and drop down menu will open now click simply click on auto installer just click on it and wait for a few minutes it may take uh, take time depending upon your internet connection so it will take some little bit of time so i will just resume once the installation installer is open so the now page has been loaded and you can see that there is already one installation for the actual website themanfit.net and now we are going to install wordpress which is available on the topmost because of its popularity so simply click on it and the installation will take place within few minutes before that you need to fill few details which will be useful for your login as well as your wordpress installation on your subdomain so if you are have any question or queries regarding this do comment down below so now you can see here there is the first is HTTP or HTTPS so the first thing is you need to keep it as HTTP because you have not installed any kind of SSL certificate for subdomain in case you have already installed SSL certificate for your prime website along with subdomain then you can simply see, select HTTPS but for this tutorial I am going to select HTTP as most of the people might not have done that so simply I will do that and then to select the tutorials or the subdomain which I have created and keep the version as latest as possible then you need to enter here the administrator username so I will simply click it uh, on my pre-saved usernames then simply enter the name of the site and uh, keep the settings update setting application update setting as uh, default don't try to change it simply click on install now the installation will take place for a few minutes and you might see and change over here the installation will be added over here so just need to be patient little bit and just look towards it so guys if you want to buy a hosting your hosting there is a link in the description the link is affiliate link so just go and check out the new deals there is some sale going on so don't forget to check that deal uh, it will be best deal possible i have tested all the hosting when all of these i trusted the hosting as one of the best value for money so you can simply just go and check that out so it might take time so you need to be patient and uh, just wait because sometimes it may be happen that it may not install so in that case you can simply contact to the contact uh, support so they can help you with that so you can just say so you can see here that something went wrong so sometimes you can get this kind of message but uh, when you will refresh the page or after some times when you will refresh the page the installation will be done so yes you can see here now the installation has been created tutorials.demandfit.net so i will simply right click on it and i will just load it so you can see that the tutorial slash the mindfit.net has been installed and the wordpress is installed on it so that's it for this video let us know in comment section if this video was helpful for you or not and if yes do hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on notification bell thank you for watching see you bye bye in next video